The scleral buccal should be chosen to give a sufficient indent under all the retinal breaks. The choice of buccal will therefore depend on the size and location of the breaks and the amount of subretinal fluid. Sponges are more easily compressed so they can expand after the sutures are tightened. This can give rise to very high indents to close quite elevated breaks without subretinal fluid drainage. The cross-sectional profile of the resulting indent is relatively narrow at its apex, however, so correct positioning is essential to avoid failure. Use of a circumferential sponge on a large U-tear may lead to redundant retina forming radial folds through the tear. As a result, the tear remains open and adopts the configuration of a fish's open mouth, fish mouthing. This does not occur with radial sponges.